Hello, attractive human beings. Let's talk about six simple steps for skateboarding progression. Now, simple doesn't necessarily mean easy. It's like a diet. Simple is eat better and exercise, but is it usually that easy? Depends who you are. Number one, let's start with focusing on the basics. The basics change as you progress in skateboarding. For now, when you're starting, it's probably standing and pushing. Eventually, it'll be the ollie, and then it'll turn into the kickflip and then other flip tricks. Now, for pushing and standing, they are vital, and a good way to get better at these is to just go somewhere far away and push switch as you're going there push regular switch off your feet switch off your stance if you put yourself in a situation where you need to ride well you will learn how to ride well it's like learning a language if you go to a different country and you're embraced into the culture you will eventually learn the language now i love number two because it is the anti-gravity mode and it requires something like this you just need something that can support your weight so you can jump and be free from gravity for a split second. And this will be a good way to start trying your new tricks. This will give you that extra split second edge on being in the air and seeing what's going wrong when you're not committing to a trick or not landing on a trick. It'll allow you to be in a situation where you can build up your confidence rather than just going for broke. And besides that, it's genuinely really fun. I still do this today. I've been skateboarding for 18 years. I love it. Now I am a list type of guy, so number three has been extremely prominent in my skateboarding, but it's creating a list of objectives that you have to complete before moving forward. Now it's important that you make this list and you get inspired from watching a bunch of different videos and then you have these ideas. So when you go skateboarding, you at least have an idea of what to work on, what to start on. One of the most prominent skateboarders in the world, Nigel Houston, used to go to skate parks all the time and his dad would force him to do a set list of tricks before he even moved on and got to have fun on a skateboard. Now this sucks. Skate coach parents are probably the worst people ever, but you can't deny that it was impactful. But it's important to create your own list of objectives, not let other people cater your skateboarding. What do you want? What are you doing here, dude? I'm waiting for you so I can rob you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'll just hand stuff over. What if I just stab you real quick? Yeah. So if you had one piece of advice for getting people who are watching right now to be in Scientology, what would it be? Just give all your money. <laughs> I still have three more tips, but for now, I'm just gonna skate the park a little bit because I wanna have some fun. I know a lot of people come to these videos just to watch the skateboarding. So I'm gonna cruise with my boy, Jagger. Three more tips on joining Scientology? <laughs> <laughs> so much fun and number four actually applies directly into what I was just doing but if you're a hard worker then beware of the burnout stage this applies to a lot of creative fields but when you really go for something or you come up with a concept and then you just put your head to the ground and you work as hard as you can to possibly land this trick you'll spend two or three hours without noticing your burnout stage the burnout stage is when you should stop and come back the next day a lot of people romanticize the idea of never giving up but it's putting in a lot of effort that's kind of unnecessary because your body is really exhausted from all the exertion so why not come back the next day with a clear mind and actually a developed mind from all those tries with a clean healthy body the trick will be a lot easier so be aware of your own burnout stage number five is one that i need to listen to a lot more but it's skating out of your comfort zone so don't be a skater who says oh well i suck at this because i don't skate that you want to at least dabble in almost every single thing that skateboarding has to offer especially if you get tired of skating something you can switch over to skating a ledge skate a manual pad go skate some transition but i will say this all of skating translates into the rest of skating. So if you get better at skating street, you're going to subconsciously or inevitably get better at skating transition a little bit. But what seems to translate the best is skateboarding transition. 
I always see transition skaters get into street skating much easier because it's so much scarier of an obstacle. You're way higher in the air. You're at, in my opinion, a lot more risk. So when you actually get into the streets, it seems way easier. So I would say if you're a street skater, practice skating transition at least some, get out of your comfort zone. And then even when you get back into skating, you're much more excited to be back in the streets, but it will also seem less scary. Skateboarding is a mindset. So improving in skateboarding is just that. The people who have the most fun skateboarding are the people who improve the fastest. So find the aspect of skateboarding that is fun for you and put a lot of effort into that. If you set your goals too high, it can seem like a chore. If you set your goals too low, it can seem like a bore. And if you set them just right, you're just a dirty little person who will have a lot of fun. I also think it helps a lot on Instagram to follow people who might be a little bit better than you at skill level, but you can also take inspiration from other skaters and figure out the new tricks that you think you can land based on their experience. Tricks that you can set a goal for yourself to accomplish. What do you think is something that's like helped you improve at skateboarding at least a little bit? Push-ups? Oh, oh, actually, one thing that I would say is I like going to the gym and hmm. just doing like weighted squats. Really? Like when I would do that, I was actually just in the best mindset to skate, like always. That's good. Just because like my legs were already swole. And now they're not? So, no, I stopped doing it like a year. I was gonna say, dude, I looked over at you and I was like, yo, your boy looks small. Yeah, dude, I'm like tiny like a twig, like your penis. What's up? And if you do want more contact, you can check out my Patreon linked in the description down below. $5 a month, all the behind the scenes and B-sides and everything I'm creating. It's a new video every single week. From time to time, I love doing these helpful videos. Let me know if you enjoy it down below. I will drop these sporadically every now and then, but most of my videos will be me out and about in New York City, exploring new skate parks and having a good time. So every Tuesday and Thursday, tune in for another video. Human mother freaking beings. I love you so much. We progress daily and Keep killing it! What'd you just say, dude? Did you rob a baby? Did I rob a baby? Yeah. I robbed a baby, like I took the baby, but I didn't steal from the baby. <laughs>